It's another Monday, which means it's time for another boring week at work or school. But luckily, Setup Wars is here to cure your Mondays and make it just a little bit better. If you guys have an awesome setup you want to feature on the show, make sure to watch the video link below to learn how to enter. But with that said, sit back and relax and let the Setup Wars begin. Before we continue, I want to give a huge thanks to System Mechanic from Iolo for sponsoring today's video. System Mechanic is a multi-function, all-in-one program to keep your PC tuned up at peak performance while enabling your computer antivirus defenses to work at optimal safety as well. It works at Windows 11 all the way back to Windows 7. System Mechanic provides a simple solution for disk fragmentation, registry issues, junk files, and a lot more. Now, when you install System Mechanic, you'll notice the first process is a system scan. Once this is done, you'll be presented with many easy repair options that only require a click of a button. The program does not take up a lot of space from your PC, and better yet, the system scan is a fast process. The latest version of System Mechanic version 22.5 introduces an intuitive and clean drop-down menu. Now its utilities are displayed in five categories. We've got performance, privacy, antivirus, password manager, and of course the settings. As the name suggests, System Mechanic from Iolo is an excellent solution to keep your PC performance and safety optimized all in one package. The link to download it will be linked below in the video description and with the code TechSaurus, you guys will get 70% off. All right, kicking off the show is Andreas and his insanely clean gaming setup. This is actually his second time on the show. He was featured in episode 264 back in September 27th, so almost a full year ago with a clean H1 gaming setup. But since then, he has done a complete makeover with new gear. I'll admit, it's sad to see the small form factor PC gone, but as they always say, it's time to move on to bigger and better things. We got a new motorized desk and a new layout. Looks like he ditched the TV up top for some nano leaf lines, and he added a 27 inch monitor in vertical mode. But check out what he did with the Elgato Stream Deck. My dude made a cutout in the desk, so it sits flush on top of it. Very clean, very minimal, with no visible cables. I love it. He did pick up a new set of peripherals as well. We got a glorious GMMK Pro with a SteelSeries Aerox 3 mouse. I'm starting to believe this is another submission from someone else. It's practically a brand new setup at this point. I don't think he kept a single piece of gear from last time except the ultrawide monitor. He also picked up a dedicated mic and a GoXLR which is in a really good spot by the way. He's able to route the cable directly underneath the PC while keeping it hidden, just like he did with the rest of the cables. Very impressive job on a sit and stand desk I must say. Finishing up with the custom PC, which got a very nice makeover as well, along with some nice upgrades. We got a bigger case, a faster CPU and graphics card. I mean, it's a very clean build, no doubt, and it complements the setup very nicely. He did move his PS5 over to the Calyx shelf, but it's still connected to his main monitor for when he wants to switch over and play. I do love the dedication to the white and black theme from the setup to the rest of the decoration in this man cave. A word of the upgrade from your last setup, no doubt. Thank you for coming back on the show. RGB Gasm is what you're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen. Up next is a stunning setup by Stefan. Such an awesome presentation with those nano leaf shapes and the lines on the bottom. This is one of those setups where picks don't do it justice. You have to see the animation of the lighting to really appreciate what's going on here. And thankfully, we do have a video file to show how all the lights are synced up beautifully. It took Stefan a total of eight months to get the setup to this point for gaming and occasionally working from home. We do have two 34 inch ultra wide side by side mounted against the wall with tons of extra space underneath it for his speakers and other items like a Nintendo Switch and a Pixu Max. He did take advantage of the extra space on the wall to add some nano leaf lines which adds a beautiful accent wall. And also since both monitors are side by side, he's able to mount a light bar in the center. Below that, we got another GMMK Pro keyboard paired with a Viper Ultimate in white. And then for audio, he uses a set of Sanyun speakers, but switches over to the G935s for gaming that he keeps with the rest of his custom boards on the other side. I do like the desk layout. He picked up a small IKEA Calyx shelf for his PC. That way, it doesn't take up any space from the main desk. That's how he's able to achieve a clean and symmetrical design. The PC itself is a beast. Don't let the size fool you though, because we got a 3700X paired with a Gigabyte RTX 3080. Such a clean build with neutral colors to complement the setup and whichever color schemes the font decides to go with. That is the beauty of RGB after all. He's even got a matching mouse pad and wrist west to go along with the colors. Very impressive. 
I gotta hand it to Stefan for his taste in gear and art. He definitely knows how to put together a badass setup. Thank you for sharing this with us. Meet Tony DeVita, a 32-year-old entrepreneur from Italy and his decked out battle station. Look at the size of that desk, it's ginormous. It's a sit and stand desk too, which is why it's so impressive. The setup was built in four months just for gaming and a little bit of streaming. We got triple 32 inch monitors hooked up to the PC with a 4K TV up top for watching videos and gaming on the Xbox Series X. You know, it didn't take long to realize he's an ROG fan, not because of the monitors, the gaming chair or the peripherals, but from the giant ROG logo on the wall. He does have an ROG Strix Scope Deluxe keyboard with an ROG Chakram wireless mouse as well with very clean cable routing across the desk through a cable clip and into a cable grommet. I love that he even drilled holes in the desk behind each monitor to route the cables through the desk and into the back. I love the dedication here. The speaker setup on the other hand is very unusual but it makes sense. You know, with a wide setup like this, you are better off putting them on the corner of your desk but I would angle them more towards you instead. He doesn't have a mic setup, so he relies on the built-in mic from the Astro A40s that he keeps near the back, and we can see some more cable grommets covering the holes that he drilled for cable management. Powering the entire setup is a custom-built behemoth that he keeps on the wall shelf to the left. It's a custom water-cooled build featuring the 10900K and an RTX 3090. I don't think people realize how difficult it is to put your PC so far away from your setup. You would have to drill through your wall to run the cables behind it and all the way to your setup, but you have to also make sure to extend every single cable so that it can reach all of the gear. Very impressive job on the setup and the execution. Thank you, Tony, for sharing this with us. Here's one for the Stormtrooper fans out there or anyone who's into the white and black color schemes. Tony's a full-time student from California who is also a tech content creator on TikTok and this is the setup he uses for pretty much everything from gaming to schoolwork, crypto mining, and creating content. We got triple 24-inch monitors hooked up to a desk he picked up from the Facebook Marketplace and for peripherals we got the Keychron C1 keyboard paired with a Logitech G305. For primary audio, he uses some speakers, and for gaming, he swaps to the SteelSeries Arctis 7s. And you know, I've seen a lot of people put their webcams on a desk for some reason, when mounting them to a desk clamp seems to be a more logical solution. Cables, on the other hand, are neatly routed underneath the desk and into the custom PC featuring the Ryzen 5 5600X and the Gigabyte Vision RTX 3070. A very clean build and setup. Thank you, Tyler, for sharing this with us. Wrapping up the episode is a very cozy gaming setup by Wayne coming all the way from England. This setup was built in three months for gaming and content creation. And I gotta say, I do like the desk layout. I think Wayne did a great job keeping the Alex unit on the left side and adding a Calyx shelf on the right to avoid cluttering the setup and maximizing storage space. This leaves the main setup area with room to breathe. The monitors are just high enough to not block the speakers and we got plenty of room for the keyboard and mouse with an extended mouse pad. It doesn't look like you use a headset with the setup, but I would eventually pick one up because if you're gaming, people can hear the audio from the speakers. We also have a bit of a green theme going on, which we haven't seen on the show in a while. It also carries over to his custom PC inside the IQ4000X case. We got an i7-11700F paired with a Zotac GTX 3060. Very good choice in furniture and excellent use of space in that corner of your room. Thank you, Wayne, for sharing this with us. And that will wrap up the video. Make sure you guys comment below. Let me know which of these setups was your absolute favorite. If you're enjoying season five, so season five, what the hell? We're on season six. If you're enjoying season six so far, let me know by tossing a like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one.